And hello, folks. It's time for that Vid Blaster guy. I'm Tom Sinclair. Delighted to be with you today and delighted to have a really excellent show today. Our special guest, who I'm going to announce in just a minute, uh, or who I'm going to bring on the show in just a minute, Amnon Nissan with Nissan Communications in North Carolina, USA, uh, is going to come on and talk to us about making money with this wonderful new technology that we love of, of uh, internet broadcasting. Um, and so we're going to spend most of the show chatting with Amnon, but if you've tuned in for some of our tutorials, uh, don't worry. I've got two tutorials that will be coming up at the end, basically uh, peeling back the, the screen and showing you how I go about streaming, setting up my VidBlaster to stream to Decast, D-A-C-A-S-T, Decast.com, which is my paid video provider. Um, if you go back in the archives, we did an interview with the Vice President uh, for the Americas, Greg Ellis, um, from DeCast, and very interesting guy, and, and had a lot of neat things to say about what was going on. Uh, the other tutorial I'll do will be on using the, you know, in VidBlaster, you've got a player that allows you to play music, it allows you to play video, and it allows you to, to display still images. But there's also something called a playlist, and the playlist you can load up with lots of different things and then tell the player to play the playlist and it'll play a playlist. If you've got six one hour videos, it'll play them one right after the other. In fact, it's even got a loop back, but I'm stealing my own thunder on that one. As you may recall, the whole theme for this, for, for this show, that VidBlaster guy, is that one guy with one PC can do one pretty darn good broadcast. Now, the ultimate objective is for one guy with one PC to do one awesome broadcast, but we're not there yet. But we're getting there. We're getting closer and closer, and today is a big step forward because today is the first day we're doing a live Skype guest. Now, I know for those experienced streamers, you do live Skype guests all the time, and I've done it before, too. But, uh, you know, for me, the bar was a little higher. That VidBlaster guy was supposed to know what I'm doing. Um, so we would hope that uh, maybe today I will know what I'm doing. Also, uh, remember that uh, we, are, we are out of the alpha shows, we're out of the beta shows, this is the real deal. Uh, that Vid Blaster guy, one guy, one man, one PC, one on, awesome broadcast. So, um, so that's, that's the deal, that's the intro. And the thought was, it came to me the other day that, that there are a lot of folks out there, you and me, that would love to be able to turn our hobby into, well, maybe not a profession, but at least a professional hobby. A hobby where we could make a few bucks and maybe underwrite the cost of our hobby. Um, but I thought, well, let's, let's fast forward that and let's say that we could actually make enough money to make a business out of it. And, and I searched around the internet and didn't have to search far when I bumped into my friend Amnon Nissan and said, uh, Amnon, come on the show, let's talk about making money. And, and he's like, oh, you know, I, I, he's so humble. He's, he's, he's such a great guy. Um, and he, he's very humble. And we're going to have to squeeze this information out of him to get him to share some of his secrets. But hopefully we can do that. So with, with no further ado, let me bring him in. This is uh, Amnon Nissan, Nissan Communications. Amnon, welcome to the show. Delighted to have you. Delighted to be here, Tom. You, you, you're so a, now you, you're going to be graded on this one, right? Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, you know, I'm graded on every one. My spouse has, has given me oh. some pretty poor grades in the past, uh, mostly because this takes so long. But, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, tell me, we got, we've got Nissan Communications. Right. And that is the broadcast arm of your, your media empire. Um, well, media, yeah. And and then, but behind the scenes, we've got uh, we've got Delta Force, right? Uh, and Delta Force is a, uh, a, a an ISP, I, IS, yeah, ISP. And then behind that, we've got uh, a a computer troubleshooting service. I guess well, locally, that's part of and Delta Force. Part of part of Delta Force. Okay, so we're, we're going to leave Delta Force out of it for for a minute and talk about Nissan Communications. You and, and, and a couple other old guys uh, get on the get, get on the internet every Sunday morning and do. <laughs> I can already see the. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you and a couple other old guys. No, you. No, let me rephrase that. You and a couple of old guys. Well, one old guy in particular. 
uh, <laughs> get on the internet and have this this wonderful. It's it. I don't know that it's a computer show so much as it is a wonderful Sunday morning conversation about technology and all the kind of pathways that come off of t technology. It's Computers 2K Now, um, and it's actually Computers2KNow.com to get to it. Um, I, it The show goes on. Well, you tell me about the show. Uh, d well, j the, just give the, me a nugget. The, the show started uh, with a different name back in 93, and the station that we were on wanted us to update it so it was computer it started as computers 2k net to, no computers town usa and then it went to computers 96 97 98 99 and when we reach when we reach i believe it was 2007 2006 or say so, i can't remember when i said that enough with of that so it's computers 2k now whatever it is now that's what it is computers 2k now and that's how it came about, the name. But you guys started on radio. Yeah. And migrated from radio to radio and. In, right. And internet. And then. And then dropped the radio. Internet, leg of it was going good. We bid adieu to the radio station. Um, we were on the air until I believe it was nine, uh, 2008. 2009 I can't remember but uh, it was it was just a natural progression it's there there was nothing I mean it was it was a given this is what's going to happen because people were more and more into video and they wanted to watch so we wanted to put the a camera in this in the studio and the station fought it and uh, make a long story short when the station was sold and we started doing video from the the studio because the new owners were were not as picky as the old ones although the old ones ran a better show as far as the station uh we did it we 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 sort of like fell in love with it. It was great. It was something else to do, not just sit there in front of a mic. And now you couldn't make faces at anything. You couldn't talk about whatever you want, you know, because people are seeing you. And um, we then they cut us from two hours to one hour. And what we did is we we stayed in the studio and did everything on the air. For the first hour and the second hour, we just moved into the production, actually into the studio. There's a production room where the boards are, and then there's the studio where you sit with the microphones. So we moved into the uh, studio, and Spence, Spencer had a small mixer, and we had a couple of webcams, and we would set it up, and we started using a... Um, cell phone for the incoming calls it was really really strange but it worked and we got better and better and then mike got involved in it and he got the sound to sound a lot better and we started doing it like that and then we said then i decided okay you know it's the station is sort of going down the uh, listenership is going down we don't want to lose so i came in here and this room that was there already it was a storage room for Kathy and decided okay I'm gonna build a studio and cleaned it out and modeled it sort of like after the studio at the station because I was used to it uh, if I if I had to do it all over again I probably do it a little bit different without all these high chairs and things but the thing is now we had a studio and Spence would come here every morning and what we'll do is we'll do the show from 8 till 9 at the station, and we come here and do uh, 10 until 11 or a little bit more afterwards only on the Internet. And it was hell getting up every Sunday at 6 o'clock to be ready to, to go on the air at 8. So we say, you know what? It's time now. Really, let's forget about it. Let's cut the cord and do it on our own and start doing it from here. 
And the rest is history. And the rest is history. Well, it, it's not really history because that opened up a whole new element for you yeah. that is still, I mean, number one, Computers 2K now. I mean, you had an audience this past Sunday of what, 8,000? Something like that? Uh, no, it was more like 6,000. Okay, so it was down. But you've had audiences of over yeah, 10,000. Yeah, we got, we, we, we passed the 10,000. Yeah. Whew, that's big time. Uh, and it's, it's really due to social networking, I believe. It's, it's a lot to do with the content. It's not just cut and dry. Like on, on the radio, I mean, as though on the radio too, we will joke and laugh and, and, and mix some other things into it. But it was more like people would call in all the time and with questions. And of course, in the last year or two on the radio, things started to slow down because of listenership to the station and because of the fact that at that point, the computer became a pair of pliers. People didn't need to, to ask questions. You know, I mean, I don't know the last time somebody called anybody and said, how do I use a pair of pliers? Right. So it becomes a tool, an everyday tool. And at that point, it's right. They just want to hear about the newer thing. So I believe it's, it's because they don't know what they're going to hear, that they're coming. They know they're going to learn something. And it also has to do with a lot of drive-bys. Got you. People are just dropping by, listening a little bit, going away. Maybe they'll come next week or whatever. So we the, this is where uh, Bamboozer and we uh, simulcast it on Ustream. And we get a lot of, I believe we get a lot of audience from there, from these two places. Got you. Well, we're going to get to audience in just a minute. But meanwhile, on this timeline... You've created this studio, you've, you've dropped radio, you guys are moving basically everything in-house, literally, in, in a right. part of your home that you've built for, well, for another purpose and adapted for this purpose. And yep. then at some point you came up with the idea, well, if we can do this, then we can bring folks in right. to do that too. Ha tell me how you came into that. It was, it was a shame to have, and you've been to the studio, you saw it. Yes. Yes. To have something like this sitting here and being used just a few hours on Sunday morning, right? it's a waste. You know, it's, it's unlike a car, you know, I mean, you don't have a car in the driver and you say, well, I've got a car, I'm going to drive it. Right. No, over here, I mean, it's sitting there, the, the lights are on, the computer is running because we, we uh, broadcast audio 24 by 24-7. And you say, you know, it'll take nothing to do other shows. And I mentioned it one time to Marilyn, and she said, I'd like to do a show. And I said, okay. And uh, it took a few months, Excuse and me. she did. And from then on, it took, it took a life of its own, kind of. Now, Marilyn was a friend of yours from yeah. a, uh, a group that you meet with on a weekly basis. And so she knew you about your radio uh, show. Uh, Marilyn, Marilyn was not part of that group. Oh, no. she wasn't part of that group. Okay. No. She's, she was a personal friend. Okay. Okay. But you knew what she was doing, and you knew that this would oh, yeah. really benefit her right. in what she was doing to be able she's to a, have this she's international a audience. Coach. She's a coach. A life I coach. Mean, a life coach, right. business coach. So it was, it was good for her, and it was good for the audience to, to hear tidbits about what to do in certain cases right so it's you always have in my opinion you always have to first you have to see that the show that the host that the whole theme is going to contribute something to the listeners i mean listeners go to the radio to listen to music because they like music they need they would come here if there's something that they want to hear about they're not going to come here just to listen, to watch my pretty face or anybody else's pretty face. Not that it's pretty. But they come here because they're going to be able to get something out of it. So in, in uh, Marilyn's case, me being a business owner in, in business and, and said, yeah, you know, I mean, I can learn something from that. I'm sure there are a lot of other people that can learn from that. And that's that's what what the reason was there to start with. 
And so you started this show. This show runs on Monday evenings. Yep. And eight till nine. Eight till nine. And has what kind of audience? Uh, we started, I mean, you can go to the back and see. I mean, we started with probably 50, below 50. And you can see every every show, it's going up. Every now and then it'll go down. But uh, she she's almost to 2,000. On a weekly show. On 2000. a weekly show, and that is also, in my opinion, that's hard to do a show like this because you're prime time, and people, you know, sitting at home with the kids or by themselves. There's interesting stuff on on TV. Eight o'clock is a magic magical hour, and it's you are competing with that. So to reach these numbers, it, it's something. All I have to compete with on Sunday morning is church. Is what's his name? You, you, you guys need to be on a first name basis. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> so, so Marilyn's having success with her show, uh-huh. and then she tells a friend. She tells Julie. She tells Julie. Now Marilyn has her own networking group. It's Women's Power Network. Okay. So she tells Julie, and Julie comes here and sits one evening, and she says, I'm not, I want to do a show too. Okay? And she started doing, and actually Julie surpassed Marilyn's number. And Julie is talking about mind, body, mind, spirit. Okay. And it's very interesting things. I mean, I'm learning a lot from these two. I mean, I'm sitting here doing all the switching, but I am learning. So, and it, very interesting guests. She, she took it very seriously as far as uh, social networking and booking. I mean, she's booked for the next six months. Now, it's when you say like book, doing... each one of your hosts yeah. brings guests on. And so they'll have a conversation like we're having a conversation now. Exactly. Similar format. Yep. Um, and each week they have a different guest. Yes. And so the guest will bring, you know, some of their audience, too, if they have an audience, oh, right. uh, which yep. certainly is an advantage for the host to, to have a tryout in front of a new audience. And so, so you've got Marilyn and Julie, and then what happened right. next? And then a friend of mine, an old friend of mine, uh, Debbie, heard about this while we were at the party over at Marilyn. She said, I'm, not, I'm doing shows on Block Talk Radio, but I'd love to do this. So I said, fine, it's costing, it's going to cost, though. And the reason I had no problem saying it's going to cost is because she was paying at Block Talk Radio. So it was a no-brainer to say it's going to cost. Uh-huh. And, and, and the, the idea was you have to build up, I won't call it hype, but enough audience and enough interest, and then you can start charging. Uh-huh. So now with, with Debbie, um, we, we were talking about if she's going to do it every week, it's going to be $400 a month, $100 a shot. Uh-huh. Um, and she said, okay, but Debbie does health in, and Debbie is a very highly regarded homeopath. And it just turned around somehow. It turned. Kathy needed some things. I needed some things. And, I, and, and he or she, she would give me a check. I'd give her. I said, you know what? Let's forget about all this. You take care of us, and I'll take care of you, and we'll leave it like that. How about that? She said, sure. <laughs> so we're bartering. And then... Uh, All right, so we got we, we got Marilyn, we've got Julie, Julie we've got Debbie, got Debbie, and and at at that point of after Debbie, Marilyn said I had somebody who was doing a business show who quit, and Marilyn said I'm gonna let me take that over. I want to do that one too. So I said sure. So she started doing it on Monday evening at seven. So she goes from seven till eight with scope of things in eight till nine with breaking free then came 
they said there is a friend of theirs that wants to do a show about losing weight and about obesity and problems that people have with that. And Cindy came about. And Cindy wanted to do it once a month. So I said, okay, that, that'll be $200. So she did it twice already. And I'm really, I mean, now, yeah, so money is coming in. But again, like I said, I always think about the audience. Once a month is not, is not good because by the time you, you roll over, people forget. You need to do it more often. So I'm going to make Cindy uh, an offer she can't refuse and tell her that she needs to do it at least every other week. An offer she can't refuse. Well, you know, there's nobody saying you can't do that. You, Absolutely not. You can do whatever you want. Yep. So you've and got five shows now. Five shows. And another one coming up next month. I, I, I'm almost positive. Um, and that is going to be a paid, another paid show. So... Bringing money in, yeah. Making money, uh, I don't know. I mean, when you think that you have to sit there an hour and do the switching. And, I mean, it, don't misunderstand. Every little bit helps, especially with, with the way economy is going. But uh, it's still, I, I, can't, I can't retire yet. Ah. Ah. And it's kind of tough also to, everybody wants to do it in the evening. And you have to explain to them. Not you. You can't just do it in the. You know, some some shows will be actually better to do during the day. If right. you are if you are targeting it at women, older women, a lot of them are at home. And Connie yesterday we had a meeting about this upcoming show, and she said, "Yeah, I mean, you know, people are listening to Oprah in the afternoon, and it's true." So we'll see how that goes because, you know, there are just so many days in the week that has 8 o'clock in the evening. Two of them I'm not giving up because exercise is still important. So we'll see what happens. Well, it sounds like you have created a formula. Um, and, and coincidentally... I created the same formula when I was looking for sponsors and advertisers for my soccer broadcasts, which was, uh, you know, if you can't sell it because people don't understand the value of it yet, right. then give it away. Like giving away a free cookie. Yeah. And uh, yep. you taste well, that cookie. That was a pretty good cookie. Have you got another free cookie? Well, sure, I've got another free cookie. Um, and then the third cookie, well, you know, that cookie is going to cost you. Um, ah, the pusher, the pusher. That's right. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But this is good stuff. I mean, this is good absolutely, stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was talking and with. You know what? And you know what? There is no way that I could do all this without Fid Blaster. Fid Blaster. That is sort of one of the underlying themes of this show. I tried. Fid Blaster is not the first thing that came to mind. Right. Because while we were doing the show from the station years ago, we were using Ustream and we were using their producer, which is a form of, uh, what's the other one? Oh, and I forgot the name of the other program. Oh, Wirecast. Um, Wirecast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, but it was simple because they made it simple for you. So I, I wanted to have that. But when I got it and the, the trial and put it up, I couldn't figure out how to even start, how to even create a shot that would have what I want in it. There was no way, and believe me, I spent some time on it. And then Mike, from all, you know, the, our audio guy, said, I don't know, I heard there's something called Vid Blaster. And I downloaded it, and within minutes, I had everything that I wanted. And then Mike, I said, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Mike said, there's a guy down south in Alabama that sells it, huh. his name is Sinclair. Oh. I went looking and looking and found out found your, your number. I can't remember how it how it came about and, and the rest is history. It is history. But, but, uh, yeah, Vid Blaster is 
the bomb. Well, and you know, different people learn in different ways, and so yeah. you know, no right for me. No, no Let offense to Wirecast, it just didn't happen to work for you. It doesn't happen to work for me. Uh, I had a similar experience. It just, it just didn't click. And that's what I loved about VidBlaster is like, oh, it should do this. Oh, it did exactly what I thought exactly. it did. It just went the way I think. And that's, and since it came naturally, it was easy to to grow to like it. And then, then you sort of again you peel off the veneer. And there all, there's all this power underneath that's not necessarily readily re readily uh, visible. And then you can really do some things like like the shot that we're using right now. It's a side-by-side. -side. We've got kind of a lower third-ish kind of thing underneath us. Um, I've got a little logo up here. Um, all of that is using a combination of modules to give a different look. And normally I, I have a, a backdrop up here, and I forgot to include it this time. Um, but there's so much so much you can do with it. now. What, going back to, to your shows for a yeah. second, and I, and I, I appreciate you tying no, Vid Blaster ahead, into ahead. this because it is that Vid Blaster show. Um, but the shows that you're doing are all of your, uh, you're the producer, they're the host. Do all of, all of the hosts come to your studio physically? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you're not doing any remote hosting at this point? No. Okay. I mean, every now and then, one of them will be traveling and like Julie did a show from Texas and or from Louisiana and Maryland did one from Florida and one from New York. So we did it. But in general, yeah, they come here. OK. OK. Do you see a model where you might have remote hosts that didn't have to uh, show up at your studio at seven o'clock? Yeah. I mean, what we do every Sunday with with Skype, it's the same thing. Right. Right. With our show. Right. Right. Very good. Very interesting. Very interesting. Well, for the for the listeners, for the viewers here, I, I hope we have we have piqued your curiosity and your interest on this. And, you know, generally when we start talking about money, is when folks uh, really straighten up and pay attention. Uh, but I think this this model that Amnon is working with can be replicated uh, just about anywhere, uh, r regardless of what country you're in, regardless of what part of the United States you're in, regardless of your age. Um, I bet there are some teenagers out there that are, are you know, techno technically capable of pulling something that, like this off and working for one of their parents' friends uh, who's, who's in business and wants to sort of spread the word um, ab about their business. I've, I'm a member of a, uh, a, a local uh, referral group, and, um, and we have about, about 40 members. I mean, it's a pretty good-sized group. And that would be the kind of folks that I would approach and say, you know, now that I've got that VidBlaster guy studio created and, and working, and I want to take the Amnon Nissan model, um, I'm going to take it to that group and say, hey, guys, if you've ever thought that you would like to be on Internet TV, Here's an opportunity. Um, Absolutely. And they'll be yeah. crazy not to take you on. I, I would think so. But a lot of folks, it's, it's a time issue. Uh, some people don't think they're physically attractive enough. Um, other people are concerned that nobody would watch. Hey, um, you know what? If somebody doesn't think if that's going to stop them, they, you need to tell them to look at ours and yours show. <laughs> I thought you were going to be gracious and say your show, but it just, instead you included my show. Oh my goodness, that's right. Yeah, if this if, if these old men can do it, you know, then it won't be funny. Anybody can do it. Yeah, uh, it really isn't limited by by age, or gender, or appearance, um, as as you can tell. Um, it's it's limited probably more by passion and interest uh, than anything else. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So, so you've got these five shows, and then you've got your own show, and you're talking with somebody else about a future show. Um, what's the next big thing? Is is there a next big thing that's beginning to work its way into your consciousness? Of no, and this is one of the problems that I have. I don't plan ahead. I should. Yeah. But I don't. I take I take it as it comes. And, and I, it's something, it just comes up, and I said, okay, yeah, I'm going to do it like that. And 
I'm, I'm being told that that's not the way to do it, but so far, everything worked like that. Well, you're living in the moment. That's right. And enjoy it to the fullest. Of, yeah. 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 I, I mean, I can't afford to now. She, she, my daughter is out of the house now, and, and it's just me and my wife, and thank God things are okay. So, yeah. Good. I mean, as long as there is Delta Force, and which is where the money is coming from. Right, you know, right. Uh, maybe one of these days this will be it. Well, and you never I, know. You, you know, never not, know. not maybe. It will. I, I can foresee see a model. In fact, I, I cooked this up the other day where you would have, not you necessarily, but where a person would have um, a small storefront, wouldn't even have to be a storefront, could be a warehouse for that matter, where they have assembled some, uh, some cubicles, uh, green screen on the walls, uh, soundproofed, and uh, each, each cubicle is equipped with a couple of cameras, a PC, a stout internet connection, a, a mixer, uh, some mics, some lights, and folks come in to host their show. And you've got an, an operator that's, you know, that's a, a high school graduate, comes in the afternoons, and this is his job is to do the technical parts behind the show. And you could have four of those booths in one building and have four shows going on simultaneously because the Internet is not limited like TV, you know. Right. You can have Absolutely. a zillion channels. Uh, all you need, it's, it's not the channels that's the limiting factor, it's the audience. Um, right. But I can imagine any business professional that would want to increase their own um, perception in their community as a professional, what, what better way to do it than to come across as, as the expert? Um, right. No doubt. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to start this Vid Blaster Guy show is because, number one, I knew that I could help a lot of folks with this type of thing, and Vid Blaster is a great tool for it. And number two, because I'm a Vid Blaster reseller, there would be a financial benefit to me to do that. And I also figured out not only, you know, Vid Blaster's, you know, it's just software, um, and so there's not a lot of money in it for that sense, but thinking like a businessman, and also realizing that there are thousands of questions that people have on, you know, will, will VidBlaster run on my i3 laptop? Well, yes, but no. Um, what people needed is they needed to be able to have the option for a set of specifications, or better yet, a PC that had been tried and tested. And so I'm still, you know, have developed two and I'm developing a third PC right now that'll be designed for actually a talk show format. Um, that will take all the questions out of, is this, is this going to work? Yes, this will work. Um, and as a reseller, and, and you, you one of my customers, um, yep. it's been a, a joy. Happy, I mean, customer. Happy customer. I mean, you, you'll call me at 10 o'clock on Sunday night, which is 11 o'clock your time, 10 o'clock Central yep. Time. And you'll say, Tom, I was thinking about this, and I want to do this, this, and, and, and I'm delighted to chat. You know, this is one of my most favorite things to talk about. Um, and that's the and that's the good. I mean, my customers call me any time of day or night, yep. and it's nice because you can always say I'm busy right now or I can't do it right now, and it's fine. And not that it happens, but because you always find time for your customers, and it's great because you keep people talking about you. Yes, yes. Well, and, over, and over so the top customer service does that. Absolutely. And and people will say. And I've heard him say it. Oh, yeah, I've got this friend that does this. Well, the first word they said was friend, not, yep. not company that wants to sell you something. But I've got a friend. That is somebody that's looking after your best interest like you're looking after your best interest. And that's, yep. that's the best way to do business. That's the only way and, to do business. And, you know, now that you, now that you, also, now that you mentioned about the next big thing, what, what yes. actually, I'm waiting for it to, to, to materialize. As far as building audience and stuff, I was asked by a local low power FM station to carry the shows. I said, do you mind if we carry your shows? Oh, wow. I said, no, go for it. You know, I have no problem with that. So this, you know, people will hear on the, on the radio and what's the next thing they're going to do is, oh, they also do video. Let's go watch. Right, right. You go. 
All right, so there's a low power station. What, what's the what's the radius of a low power station? Ten miles? Um, depends on the terrain, but yeah. So so local local, and yeah. they and they want content. And they want content. And they want live content. And they want well. Radio is live, so it's nicer when it is live. I okay. mean, to it's it's you know you hear. Elvis on the radio, you can't call and talk to him. Right. Well, and when uh, you hear Rush Limbaugh on Saturday, I don't right, think he's you can't live. Call. Right. Yeah. But here, you can actually pick up the, the phone and call and interact, ask a question, make a comment. So it will work. And they see the value there, and I see the value for us. Wow. Okay. Yep. So we'll, we'll see that. Yeah. So that is, uh, that's the bit, the next big thing because that will also that will be nice because again any of the shows why 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 are we doing all these shows we're trying to it has to do with business sure uh with me if i'm talking about computer repair nobody's going to ship their computer from the next town over it's local okay here's my audience if i'm talking about internet services yeah you can go anywhere but people like to keep it local right and here it is and the same thing with the rest of the the hosts so this is why this is this is nice and for them it's not i'm not going to charge you know they can do what they want because they're giving me something <laughs> that's right and if they don't have money either. They're, they're they're giving you time on their Absolutely. on their station that's that's i mean it's it's a win-win situation really right right so when will this uh, maybe take effect don't know yet they were just uh it's it's a new station they just finished talking with the fcc they're talking about it coming up in october or november so we'll wait and see so they need content oh that's right and and you can offer them boy you can offer them sunday morning you can offer yeah. them two hours Monday night. You right. can offer them an hour Wednesday night. Oh yeah. It's yeah. It's it. It works for their benefit. There is no doubt, and it works for our benefit. Yes. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, and by the way, remember when we were asking everybody to go and sign that petition? Uh, that yes. To vote. Yes. To vote. Yes. We never. We didn't get it. You didn't get the grant. No. No, we didn't get the grant. Uh, there were more. Yeah, well, next time. Yeah. Next time. Next. Well, I mean, with all that fancy equipment behind you, I can't imagine you don't already have everything oh, yeah. you need. Oh, yeah, so I was going to say, so you see, it's so simple to do in VidBlaster, and whoever will see it here, let me get that so people will see what what we're seeing, what, what it actually is. There it is in, in reality, right? Somebody would look at that background drop and say, no, this is that should not work. First of all, it's in the in the corner. Right. It's a wall here, and a wall here, and I'm I my head is in the corner, and I don't want to hear about that dream now. And the, <laughs> and the thing is, it's not supposed to work. You're sitting too close to it. Yes. And there are blotches on it, different colors. But the, hey, guess what? <laughs> Works perfect. And that's the nice the other nice thing about Vid Blaster. I started with the green one, and with my uniform, it didn't work right. So I said, well, what am I going to do? What are we going to do? And then I read, oh, Vitblaster will work with any solid background. So I went, and I got the book. Sure enough, works great. So that's another thumbs up to uh, for, for Vitblaster. Another happy customer. Well, the, yes. the same customer happy multiple times. Same thing. Yeah. Multiple, <laughs> never mind. We're not going to get into that. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's right. Okay, well, folks, if you if you really want to see what's going on with Amnon, you need to tune in um, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Computers 2K Now. Um, you can go to nissancommunications.com, and it'll link you to com Computers click, 2K yeah, Now. Click, in fact, it'll link you to the whole weekly schedule. Right, the, the channels. The channels, that's right. All the, all the different channels. In fact, I, I've got a little clip. Let's let's show this clip. I've got a clip that I downloaded from the internet 
of uh, one of your shows. And uh, let's see. Let me cue this up right now. Good afternoon. Oh, good evening. Oops. Oops. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing great. Welcome to The Scope of Things. It is September 10th. And like always, what is the show about? It's a show about business, thinking about business, doing business, sharing business that's kind of outside the line. Maybe things we never thought about, maybe we have, but we hear it again, and it's kind of refreshes in our mind or gives us permission to do something we may not have thought about doing before. There you go. That was Marilyn doing her, that's her business coaching show. Yes. And she was not really in a boardroom. No. She was in your studio. She was sitting across across the table there which, with her own green screen. Which does not look like, uh, does not look like that. No. Nope. So uh, all that behind her was not really there. It was just that same blue screen. Correct. Ah, very cool. Very cool. I, the, the, uh, the host of the next show, Connie, yesterday was saying, I just want a blue background. I don't want anything that's too busy. There you go. Something to be said for you know, simple. For each, is, for each is own. That's right. That's right. Well, and, and, but your backdrop works wonderfully. I mean, I just, and it's consistent. Every time I see you on the show, that's what's behind you. And I thought, golly, I got to go visit this guy when I go through North Carolina. This yeah, is incredible. Always, I, always to, I, I always have to adjust the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's very good. Very good. Uh, well, I've taken far too much of your time. But you are very gracious to come on. You've always been very gracious with your time. And uh, I've enjoyed enjoyed our friendship a lot. So, Same here. Uh, oh, before I let you off, off, off I, I have to give a shout out while you're here with us to, uh, oh, no, no, no. Just oh, one, okay. one, one more minute. Uh, a shout out to Mike Phillips, who is part of your to Computers 2K Now hosting team. And yep. uh, among Mike's many talents, he is an audio expert. I mean, he's got Absolutely. the ear, he's got the brain. He understands the insides and the outsides of, of audio. And Mike has helped me tremendously in getting my little studio set up and in helping me solve some of the audio problems that I didn't even know I had audio problems. I thought my audio was, eh, was pretty okay. But Mike said, pretty okay is not good enough. You can have pretty okay video, but your audio has got to be very good. And so my hope is that if if folks, if y'all are listening to a series of my shows, you'll hear the, the audio get clearer and cleaner to the point where you don't even think about audio at all. And that's, of course, the goal is that the audio itself become transparent and that it's it's as if you were as if you were there. Um, and so, hat tip to Mike. Thank you very much for all your help. And I'm, you can better believe it. I'll probably be calling you again because I've got a little hum that I can't get rid of, and a, a ground loop isolator didn't fix it. Um, but that's a story uh, for another show. What, what mic are you using now? Are you using the lapel one or you have one? No, I am, I am using um, a overhead boom mic. Oh, oh, okay. I don't want to touch it and get it out of position. Um, that's right. Good and look. you know what such a cheapskate I am. Um, I bought a, a used, broken Sony uh, PD-150 video camera several years ago in order to be able to, to use it to stream with. It, the tape drive didn't work, but who cares? You don't need a tape drive right. to stream. And it had, as part of the accessories that came with it, it had a little boom mic that rested on the top of the camera. And, and so I was in your studio when I visited you last month and saw the boom mic that you were using. Not a, not a boom mic, I guess, it's a, I don't know what they it's, call it. It's a shotgun know, mic, I guess. It's, Cardi something, I don't know. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's a mic thing. That's right. I'm not, it's, it's a long, skinny mic that looks like a, a magic wand. Yep. And, uh, and I said, well, I've got one of those. And so I've been working to try to use that because now I am, I'm pretty much wireless, um, except for this headphone wire that should, should be back there where it can't be seen. Um, the idea was that I didn't have to worry about a lapel mic, and there was a lot of sound involved with that. 
But what I had to do was I had to soundproof my room, and I need to do a studio show and show you all the, the uh, moving blankets that are hanging from the walls, and they did a great job of soundproofing the room. The only thing I need to do now is, well, one of the, the next step is to figure out how to cut the computer noise because I've got three fans in my, my, my PC. And I think they sell fans that are supposed to be quiet fans. So They do. And are they, do they you, work? You go, if you just go and get the dryer hose, yeah, cut a piece like about a foot and somehow mount it on the outside where the, the vent is, yeah, that noise will dissipate almost to nothing and air will still blow. Really? Yeah. This is in theory or you've done it? No, I've done it many times. There you go, folks. $3 dryer vent will fix my problems. I'm loving it. And the other thing that you should do with the, with the uh, blankets that Mike was telling me also in the beginning, and if you, if you would look at the, at the black underneath the green and the blue, it's not just stretched out. It's pleated. So it, it has uh, different angles to it. Right. Let me hear if you want to see. Okay. We're, we're peeking behind the scenes, folks. Can you see how it, how it is? Oh, yeah. That's not flat at all. Yeah. So if you take, if you take your blankets and do them like that, it will cut, it will make it even more soundproof because it's all angles. It, the idea is angles. I mean, just reflect the, the sound to different so it doesn't come back at you. Okay. We, this is why they were using that stuff from the egg cartons. Right, right. Yeah. Because it has different angles. Yep. So do that too. You so, may need a couple. Yeah. See, why is it not flat? There's a reason why it's not flat. It's for the angles. It disturbs the sound waves. Yeah. Yeah. So so you may need two or three more blankets, but these are cheap. Yes. Because yes. you, you're going to cover three feet instead of six feet. Yeah, that's but right. But it helps a lot. Yep. All right. Cool. Well, my friend, folks, this has been Amnon Nissan, Nissan Communications, NissanCommunications.com, uh, with ways to make money real cash money or barter as the case may be that's well, right that's funny amnon thanks so much thank you tom and, and just keep keep on doing what you're doing it's very important for everybody well you're very kind you're very kind. very the, the check is in the mail yeah uh -huh. <laughs> yeah later <laughs> later see ya all right bye bye-bye all right, folks, that was Amnon Nissan with Nissan Communications. And uh, I really appreciate his friendship and appreciate him coming on the show today. He's been a staunch supporter and uh, just a joy to, to have him around. Um, coming up next, let me, let me get this queued up for you. I've got a great uh, video, a tutorial on how I use um, VidBlaster to stream with DeCast. So let's take a look at that. Well, there we go. Hi, this is Tom Sinclair, that VidBlaster guy, coming to you with another tutorial, this time on how we stream using VidBlaster and DeCast. In front of you is the default profile that VidBlaster has the very first time you bring it up. If you don't have VidBlaster, you can download it from the VidBlaster forum. That's forum.vidblaster.com. After you install it on your system, it brings up this version, the default profile. And I've inserted my graphic there just for fun. But if we want to stream to DeCast, the very first thing we need to do is establish an audio device. So we're going to use our line in Behringer USB mixer. And then we're going to go to the streamer module. And we're going to tell the streamer module that we want to stream to Flash Media Server. We're going to use the standard resolutions that VidBlaster has built into it. The default resolution of 340, excuse me, 320 by 240. So we will leave that set on auto. 
For right now, we're going to use the video codec VP6, but we could change to H.264 if we wanted to. Stream quality, since this is going to be a, what we would consider a low quality feed, we'll just use the standard 296, which is 200 video and 96 audio. Might not be your choice, but you can play with that. And now we get into the settings. And what we're looking at here is the FMS URL. So that's going to bring up a window where we need to put in an FMS URL. And we'll get that from our decast. So let me pull in our decast window here. And this is the That Vid Blaster Guide decast setting. If you're familiar with decast, this will look, look very familiar to you. What we want is the encoder setup window. And we're going to scroll up that a little bit. And we're going to select the source of your live stream. Well, we could use Flash Media Live Encoder, Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder, but we want to use it directly inside VidBlaster. So we'll click the drop down box and say use other RTMP encoder. And in doing that, it will allow us to get in to the RTMP codes. So we're going to use the stream URL and we'll just copy that. And then we're going to pull this aside for just a second, go back to VidBlaster and paste it in and say OK. And then we'll get the stream name. We'll copy that. We'll go back to VidBlaster, back to the streamer, back to settings. And the FMS stream is what we want next. And we'll paste that in there. OK. And then the next setting we've got is a username. And I'm not going to put in my username because I don't want you to steal my account. But that's where I put in my decast username. And then my decast password. And again, I'm not going to give you my password. Sorry about that, guys. And then we would hit the start button. Now, it's not going to work because we don't have a username or a password in there. But that's very simply how we use streaming with decast. Pretty simple, huh? Now, decast is, is, is a great little service. I really enjoy it a bunch. Um, they don't get in the way. They don't put in ads. I'm paying them, I don't know, $20, $25 a month, something like that. Uh, and I get all this bandwidth. Right now I'm accruing bandwidth faster than I can use it. Let's see if we can scroll over here and, uh, and see just how much I've got left uh, that I haven't used. I've got 952 gigabytes, and it's just like the old AT&T that would roll over your used, unused minutes. Um, it rolls over my unused bandwidth. So if I have a big event and I end up wanting to, uh, to really need it, I've got it there. Let's get out of this window. So that's been a real quick tutorial on how to stream with the cast in VidBlaster. I'm Tom Sinclair, that VidBlaster guy. I hope you'll join me live on Tuesdays, Tuesday afternoons at 3 p.m. Eastern Time for that VidBlaster guy. That VidBlaster guy. Well, we really don't need to hear that because we are already live Tuesdays uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern. But you can see, streaming with DeCast, number one, it's really easy. You can do it right through VidBlaster. Um, and you have control over certain basics in your stream. You've got control over the resolution of the video. You've got control over the audio. So you can pick what, um, what streaming rate you would like to use. Um, you also have the choice between codecs, the VP6 codec and the H.264 codec. And, you, and you, if you've watched this show before, you've heard me talk about those. VP6 probably being a little easier on your CPU. H.264 uh, probably being a little uh, easier or a little higher quality video uh, for the same bit rate in streaming. So if, if, you're, if you're limited in your PC power, you may want to use the VP6. If you're limited with your bandwidth, you may want to use the H.264. And I've played with uh, enough low power laptops and slow DSL connections to realize, uh, you know, there's, there's enough difference between those two that you really can kind of squeeze in and, and figure out a, a way to make a half decent broadcast with less than optimal conditions. Um, 
And I, I, again, a shout out to the cast. I've been using them for over a year and have been really pleased. Their tech support's very responsive. Um, and, uh, and, and, and they do their job. I mean, you know, they're there, they do their job. Uh, they, uh, what, what more can you say? And, and I'm not being paid to say that. I pay for their service. So that's, that's a, a bona fide testimonial there. Um, if you'd like to know more about that, shoot me a note, Tom, at thatvidblasterguy.com. I would be happy to respond to anything, especially if you want to know specifically about DeCast. Um, if you'd like to know about the show, uh, shoot me an email. If you're interested in purchasing VidBlaster, uh, the software, the home edition, the pro edition, the studio, or the, uh, the broadcast edition, uh, starting at 200 and going up to 2000 I would be delighted to have you as a customer. And what, you know, talking with Amnon earlier, you heard, um, you know, I consider my customers my friends, uh, folks that, that I'm, I like to take a call at 10 o'clock on Sunday night from, uh, people that, that I enjoy talking with and I enjoy helping them reach their goals and, and when they run into problems, helping them troubleshoot the, the problems and fix them and make them go away for good. Um, you can find out more information about buying VidBlaster from me on my website, that vidblasterguide.com. Go to the Buy It, uh, I think Buy Now is the, is the link. And that'll take you to my Sinclair Sports Network website. I'm sorry, I haven't gotten a store set up in that VidBlaster guy yet. But that is me, Sinclair Sports Network, and you can buy it there, pay for it with a credit card or your PayPal account. And I'll email you a key and, and you'll be living happily ever after. Um, so that's the, the VidBlaster guy uh, commercial, as it were, for the day. I do have uh, one other uh, tutorial that, that I'm excited about. Um, it's the whole idea of you and using the player, the player module that plays videos and plays music. You saw my music or heard my music at the beginning of the show. You saw the graphic that was on the screen as the show started. That was displayed through a player module. And then you saw, saw the uh, clip that I played during my interview with Amnon of one of his... Uh, one of his hosts, I use the player module for that. But there's another way to use the player module, and let me cue up that video, and it talks about you using the player module with a playlist. Hi, this is Tom Sinclair, that Vid Blaster guy, with another Vid Blaster tutorial. Today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to use the player and the playlist. The playlist is a neat feature of Vid Blaster. In front of you is the default profile. I've included my graphic there. The default profile wouldn't generally look like this if you brought it up for the first time. You can download VidBlaster from the VidBlaster forum, that forum.vidblaster.com in the download section. You can get the latest beta. I think this one is version 2.24 and it's in the default profile, so that gives us the seven modules you see in front of us. And we're gonna make this window just a little bit larger so we've got room because we're going to go to Modules, Add, and Add the Playlist. The Playlist is a neat little way to allow us to play multiple videos or audio files for that matter through VidBlaster. So the first thing we want to do is take our player here, player number one, and I'm just going to move it over here to the side so it's easier to see. And we're going to tell it that we want it to use the playlist as its source of video. So we're going to select playlist one for player one. Now in the playlist module, you see it's completely blank. We have lots of options here. Right click and we can add a file. So we can go out and we can add a single file. This is a mic test I did the other day and you see it adds that file to the playlist. So if I tell the playlist play right now, okay, this is a mic test. It'll play that file that we've put in the playlist. I can deselect that file by clicking on the X, and so now really there's nothing for the playlist to, fi to, to play. Let's clear the playlist, and we'll start again. And we're gonna clear the player and reselect the playlist. I'm going to right click on the playlist and I'm going to come down to import folder. Well this allows me to go into essentially Windows Explorer 
and import an entire folder. So I'm going to import the My Videos folder. And you can see now the playlist is populated with all sorts of files. And I can deselect the ones I don't want by clicking them. I can add them back later. And I can play the playlist by clicking the play button. Hi, this is Tom Sinclair, that VidBlaster guy, with another VidBlaster tutorial. We don't need to hear all that. Let's clear this playlist. Let me show you something else you can do with it. Let's clear the player. So we're starting from scratch here. Oops, and we want to tell it that we want to use Playlist 1. In Playlist 1, now we're going to sync to a folder. And you say, well, what's the difference between import a folder and sync to a folder? Well, with import a folder, you're actually moving those files. Well, you're not moving those files, but you're moving a link to those files into the playlist. Just those files. With sync to a folder, you're telling the playlist, play what's ever in this folder. So if you add files to that folder later, they're automatically put in your playlist. Pretty cool, huh? So we can sync to a folder. Brings up the same thing. We can still do my videos. And now we have the same look, but as I add videos in the future, they'll automatically be brought into the playlist. Okay, let's clear the playlist. We can deselect all files, we can select all files, and we can have the playlist loop. So if you've got six one-hour videos that you want to stream, and then you want them to repeat after those six videos have been played, you can have it loop and it will loop endlessly. Pretty neat feature. So you can add a single file, you can import a folder, you can sync to a folder, you can deselect all files, select all files, and you can loop. That's the video playlist, excuse me, the, the player playlist in VidBlaster. I'm Tom Sinclair, that VidBlaster guy. You can check our YouTube page for all sorts of other tutorials about VidBlaster. And we welcome you to our live show on Tuesday afternoons at 3 o'clock Eastern Time, thatvidblasterguide.com. I'm Tom Sinclair. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm Tom Sinclair, and don't, don't tune out yet, because uh, the intent of that tutorial, number one, was to show you today about that, but number two was to end up on YouTube. You can go to our YouTube channel, That Vid Blaster Guy, and see all the different tutorials that we've got up in there. We've even set them up as a playlist, so they'll run continually. So you've got all sorts of opportunities to learn about all sorts of different things with VidBlaster. There's even a playlist for those folks that do sports broadcasting. There's a playlist of all of our tutorials that have to do with sports. So we, we've come to the end of our time. Um, and it been delighted for those folks that joined us live. We appreciate you tuning into the chat. Uh, again, a big hat tip to Amnon Nissan for all his help uh, prior to today and, and coming on the show today. As you may recall, Amnon was the very first guest on my show in beta show, or excuse me, alpha show number one. And uh, he has uh, done the same thing today as we've moved from recorded interviews to live interviews, and I really appreciate him, him coming on the show. Um, if you'd like more information about VidBlaster, drop me an email. If uh, you're already a VidBlaster user, and you'd like to kind of round out your knowledge of that and the tutorials, you've been through all my tutorials on YouTube, um, you might also check into two things. One is that vidblaster.com has a forum, forum.vidblaster.com. I'm one of the moderators on the forum. And there's a wealth of information in there going way, way back about people that have tried all sorts of cameras and mixers and computers and video cards and capture cards and all the different things that people have tried over the years and the successes and failures that they've had. Uh, we, we always like the successes. Uh, the other thing, and this is fairly recently, is the wiki, W-I-K-I, wiki.vidblaster.com, where there is a great resource of articles that were written about the same kinds of things that ended up being issues in the forum. So if you've got interest in anything to do with VidBlaster and you want to know more in depth than what just the help files will tell you, you can go to the forum, you can go to the wiki, um, and certainly you can always shoot me an email. It's tom at that vidblasterguy.com. Really appreciate you guys tuning in for the show today. Uh, today we're going to, we're actually going to replay this show in just a minute. So if you're joining us live now and you want to watch it again, stay tuned. We're going to rebroadcast it 
in just a minute as soon as I can get it saved and queued up. And uh, if you're watching this uh, in the archive, then you can do whatever you want to. Uh, next week, I uh, haven't figured out a guest for next week. We haven't done a church broadcasting show in a while, so I think it'll probably be on that theme. Uh, but it might be sports broadcasting. You just never, never know with that Vidblaster guy what he'll come up with next. But I'm Tom Sinclair, that Vidblaster guy. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.